The Silverlight Treeless Control from DevExpress provides you with a powerful yet easy to use way to display hierarchical data within your application. Thanks to the integration with the grid control, hierarchical data can be represented in both standalone format as well as a view within the Silverlight data grid. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get started with using the DX tree list and how to bind it to data using RIA services. So let's get started. I'll start with a Silverlight application project. You can see that I've already added a data source to this application and created the required data model. The data model is based on a set of sample data that is also included with the DevExpress installer. To start, I'll select the tree list control from the toolbox and drag and drop it onto the page. I'll set it to fill the entire area. Just like the grid control, the DX tree list also provides you with powerful design time features such as selecting columns, modifying their properties, assigning editors, adding or removing columns, and more. Since I won't be using these sample columns, I'll select them and hit delete to remove them from the tree list view. And you can see that I can just as easily add new columns to the view. I switch to the XAML editor and you can see the markup has been defined for it. To save time, I'll go ahead and paste the columns that I need to be displayed within the tree list. Alternatively, I can also enable the Auto Populate Columns property so all the columns are created automatically at runtime. I'll set the Auto Width property within the tree list view so that columns are resized to fit the entire viewable area. Next, I need to define the hierarchy that will be used to display the data. I'll do this by setting two properties for the tree. First, the key field name property will specify the key field of the data source. The values of the field specified by the key field name property will uniquely identify each record. Next, the parent field name property will determine the parent of the record by the key field. Finally, I need to bind the tree to data. I'll switch to code view and add the required namespace references. I create a new domain context and load the data. You can see that I'm optionally calling the expand all nodes method of the tree view so that data is displayed in expanded mode. The tree list is then bound to the data. And I'm done. I'll run the application to see it in action. The treeless control has been populated with data and the hierarchy is created. I can collapse or expand each node. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.